morning, everybody. We're uh, changing things up a little bit. We're in 30 frames per second, as opposed to yesterday's 25. And we begin here at the noisy town hall. And I've learned to not pan too quickly. This ain't no Samsung. This is a proper camera. And we'll move slowly because look, the guy's getting interviewed. He's got his microphone on. I can hear you, yeah, I can hear you. But speak up a bit. Oh yeah, what time? Thank you very much, appreciate it, thank you. Look at them all, look at that. He's got a gas mask on and everything, look. So, so this is where I find the premier stonemasons in, in Manchester. Amazing. Look at him hammering it, look. He's using the same, the same hammer that they used in ancient Rome and Babylon and Samaria. Look at this guy. Here we are at GCHQ North, Government Central Communication Headquarters. Government Communication Headquarters, shall we say. And what I found very interesting, I'll move slowly. Look at that, no babies allowed. Can you see that? Can you see that sign? They're not allowed a baby in there, no babies. Hope you're not smuggling a baby in that backpack. Wait, let's get a close up of no baby. No babies. Children of men, that's the future the government wants for you. No babies. Now for a year, the amazing town hall, fantastic neo-Gothic building here in Manchester has been covered up, completely draped over, completely censored so that the construction may take place. Now, as you saw, there's some uh, stonemasons, stone masoning, but I just pity uh, the tourists who have never seen this in the flesh. They come to Manchester and they're like, here, have white wall. There you go, have white. White wall, that's what you need. And speaking of walls, they've put some high visibility tape on the barriers of peace to stop the Nice and other Rami Rami. It's a, it's a, it's a constant feature on this channel. We uh, admire the anti-car ramming attack bollards. And these ones are particularly reinforced and strong. Don't think anyone's driving through there, but they love it. Councils around the world are like, yay, ho, 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 festive season. We'll keep you safe. Well, we approach the side of uh, Bootle Street Police Station, hence the police vehicles everywhere. This is a Qu Quaker house, friends meeting house of the Quakers. And uh, you get a lot of uh, anti-war, anti-poverty anti this, anti that, it says here on the side there, it says no to nuclear weapons. And you see, there's a college or a school walking behind me, there's dozens of them. Let's see what how teachers doing, what's teacher up to? There you go. just fucking around. We're in a 50 mil with an f-stop of 5.3. It's the lowest I can get. Is it focused on the lady kissing her child? And is the backdrop suitably out of focus? Doesn't seem to be. Still learning, guys. Come on, let's get back onto focus here. Back onto focus. You can do it. Come on. Almost. Almost. Santa Claus outside. And he's out of focus. Oh, is he back? He's back. So we're here, there's a couple of people from Acorn and they're asking, what does Manchester think of bailiffs? 
and we'll come back to 20 mil, 24 mil, that'll do, one sec. People say, it's a joke. Violent, not necessary, find another way. Inhumane, very bad, not good. Evil peep, evil people. Evil scumbags. Don't intimidate vulnerable people. Now what do my viewers think? What does Manchester, what, do, what does the world think of bailiff? A bailiff is a court appointed debt collector? Yep. And that's it. All right, I've had a conversation with the nice people here from Acorn and they're, I, I told them what I think and they're like, write it down. Let's do it. Let me try and be clever here. Have I made my feelings known? <laughs> That's what I think of them. Right. Quite a lot of media, people being interviewed about what they think of this or that. The Vox Pox is very popular today. Vox Populare. Go on, tram. Oh yeah. the uh, Manchester Art Gallery, where a couple of years ago, they, uh, they censored some of the paintings because they found them problematic and anti-woman. Basically, they were 18th and 19th century artists painting nymphs and young ladies, you know, as, as is popular in every art style. And they censored it, they took it down. They took it down, saying it was problematic. Now, they say you should never mix art with politics, but uh, I'm sure you can tell what flags these are on the entrance. Maybe art is politics. All right. As a British taxpayer, I am extremely triggered by the funding of the Russian war machine with this incredibly hot heater on program number three, the highest setting, giving off a very nice warm glow, but every kilowatt hour consumed helps the Russian war machine. I'm just being weird, I don't, I don't know, it's nice, it's warm. Okay, we're still in the art gallery. There's a kind of soft room where there's a miniature people playing and jumping around, which is great. But I've never seen a three-way hexagon ping pong table. Have you? Come on then, Forrest Gump. We'll use some CGI. It'll make it look like we're having an epic game. Because life is like a box of diplomacy with China. Again, there's that flag again, and this wonderful children's rendition of... We're obviously in the kiddie area, they're like, don't wake the sleeping lion. And the sleeping lion, this is the painting that the children who visit this art gallery like the most. And I think that's great. This is the 1849 painting, I believe, by Sir Edward Edwin Landseer. The Desert, it's called. It's a gift of Sir William Agnew. And so in 24 mils, we'll have a look at it. How's my F stop? F11, I don't know what's going on. I'm learning, I'm learning. But let's see some of the children's renditions of the desert. Very impressionistic, very uh, Monet, very Van Gogh, very talented. I think my favorite one is the reclining sleeping lion as Helios as the sun god, as you see here, drawn by, who knows, we'll say drawn by Emma, aged five, that'll do. So I was attracted to the, oh wait, let's go the other way, here we go, here we go, lighten it up. Attracted by this golden monkey atop this, what I thought was a, a Ming vase from the Ming dynasty in China. Oh God, focus, come on, focus, focus, you can do it, please focus. Focus, please focus. And no, it's by the artist Grayson Perry. 
We'll try and get some more light. Come on, light. No, not that way. We'll go this way. Is it working? I don't think so. I'm looking in the visor and all I can see is fuzz. I think because it's focusing on the glass in front of it. Anyway, we'll try again. Okay, you see these big vases here with the very well endowed monkey at top. Very well endowed monkey. Now, forgive the focus for what we're about to do here, but Grayson Perry is a cross dressing English artist, obviously a man. Um, I think he, uh, no, I know, he's won the Turner Prize, which is a very prestigious art prize. His patron is Charles Saatchi, a very famous patron of the arts. And, uh, yeah, what I find very disturbing about it, he talks about guardians to adulthood and sexuality. And part of the art is having, and it says there, used condoms, used condoms next to a baby pram. Yep. Now, I don't like seeing used condoms next to a baby pram. I don't think there's any advantage to men in women's clothing telling us about childhood sexuality. I'm not interested. We've got the Balenciaga scandal, which has been exposed. And again, here you have a, a golden child with a teddy bear. Amidst, again, we have more used condoms on the top there. You've got the artist himself. And if you go on his Wikipedia, it's fully sourced so you can see it. Grayson Perry discusses his first sexual experience as coming at the age of seven when he tied himself up. And the art world is like, yeah, throw another used condom on it, get another teddy bear. And uh, if you've been following the Balenciaga scandal and they've deleted their Twitter account, they were using teddy bears and bondage gear, which, uh, yeah, people are starting to notice now. Always a good laugh with a, one of these co-working spaces. You know, there's a couple of guys playing the old ping pong, not three-way, they're playing two-way. Bipong, not tripong. And I'm sure the camera is focusing on the glass and not on the boys inside. This is why I need to master the art of manual recording. Okay, we're here in uh, Spinning Fields. We're here at the big, the big Costa advert, Costa Express, and uh, this is the lunchtime of the future. You've got your obedient NPCs staying nice and quiet to see if they can they can win some lunch. Look, they press a big red button. And then some happy marketing guy with a big uh, fake smile will say, yeah, you've won yourself some lunch. And the people love it. Look, look at the cues, they love it. <laughs> it was all in focus. I hit record, it's all out of focus. I love it. <laughs> here we go. What I was trying to say here in Spinning Fields where all the corporations are, right? Corporate Manchester's Canary Wharf, if you get the reference. And along the staircase here, they used to play fashion TV. Uh, all day, every day, fashion TV, runway models going up and down the catwalk. And uh, now they leave it on, and I don't know why, how much electricity does it cost to run this big screen, but it's like they're advertising the small constellation of dead pixels. Let's see if we can get a close up of some dead pixels. There are some dead pixels, and they love it. They can't get enough. Anyone else curious to see what's in? The curious teepee. What's in the curious teepee? I'm curious, look. Look at that. Very Christmassy. I don't sure if I like the giant telescreens giving you Rishi Sunak's Prime Minister's question time, but the little fireplaces at the table are a nice touch. Can you believe it? A giant banner at the ivy with a neon tiger that says above it, Manchester sucks. Very brave. For them to display that here. Oh, okay. Maybe I should go around the corner and read it. Manchester rocks. Well, so do people having a seizure. They also rock. But 
Oh well. Okay, now we can party. Continuing yesterday's theme of the parking tickets, you've got the prisoner transport vans, which are run by a private multi, multinational, multi-billion pound company, GEO Amy, getting what they deserve on the double yellows. Here he goes. He loves it. And he figured, I'm a prisoner transport van. Why would I get a ticket? Good work, sir. Don't let these, good work. Sir, I'm saying good work, good work. Good work, love, love you too, thanks for ignoring me. Thanks for being so rude, thank you. Actually praising you and you just ignore me, treat me like I'm not even conscious, like I don't exist. Anyway, fuck praising his work then, stupid jobs worth motherfucker. All right. The guy's shy, probably gets loads of abuse. We'll leave him alone, stop so that the autofocus can get its brain on. And then we come along. Let's see what's hidden in the bowels. Please do not stand in front of these shutters as they are in constant use. I will not do that. Now these are rare photons. These are photons you are not allowed. Come on, focus, don't, <laughs> don't photon with me. You've got your private GEO Amy prisoner transport vans in various sizes. Small, medium, large, oh God, they got me. Let me get the police van before, it all, before it's all ogre. Let's get the police van before it's all ogre. Oh man, oh dude. Da -na -da -na -na -na. Sorry? I'm sorry, I can't see you. I can't see you. I can see you, though. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Pardon? What are you doing? Oh, there's a conversation over. I didn't realize there's someone on a tannoy. Are you in there? Are you in there? Oh, he's lost interest. So is the focus. Hi. And, oh, I think we're about to run out of battery. It's gonna go, but not yet. Not yet. So I was filming the Indiana Jones scene where he grabs his hat as the gate closes in the underground temple. And someone on a speaker system, I could not see him, saying, excuse me, mate, can I ask what you're doing? Oh well, yeah, I'll ask what you're doing. Gart side street entrance, board security card, oil on canvas, 2022. Uh, we're still on the side of the court. It's been a while since I filmed these giant circular contraptions. Now how do these work? Is this some sort of lever, some cantilever, some sort of fulcrum system to, uh... oh, I see. When you're allowed down, it lowers into that gap so you can drive over it. Otherwise, it's just a giant barrier. Now, it's nice to see that the courts, and this is the back of the Crown Court, have the most elaborate anti-car ramming attack system I've ever seen. And uh, the members of the public have to settle for mere blocks of wood or concrete or stone, bollards. The importance of obeying the yellow box laws. And we end this segment with a great question. Since when was it okay to trade our children for our own well-being? Since never for us, but for the powers that be. Oh yeah, 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 shut down the schools, keep them at home, don't let them go outside and play, nope. And uh, yeah, Britain hasn't done it, but America and a few other places, the uh, the schedule for the sheep dip. Unbelievable ages they're recommending giving it to. Unbelievable. 